Let's talk about a subject that is vital to the health of our planet and by extension to our own well-being, ocean conservation. The oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface and play an essential role in regulating our climate, providing food, and sustaining biodiversity. Yet, despite their importance, our oceans are under threat from pollution, overfishing, climate change, and habitat destruction. Understanding these challenges and how we can address them is crucial for the future of our planet. The oceans are often referred to as the lungs of the Earth. They produce at least 50% of the planet's oxygen, which is generated by marine plants, algae, and phytoplankton. Oceans also absorb about 25% of the carbon dioxide produced by human activities, helping to mitigate the effects of climate change. Beyond this, oceans are a major source of food, particularly for communities that rely on fishing as a primary livelihood. They also drive weather patterns and are a key part of the global climate system, distributing heat across the planet. One of the most significant threats to ocean health is pollution. Every year, millions of tons of plastic waste end up in the oceans, creating vast garbage patches and causing harm to marine life. Animals mistake plastic for food, leading to ingestion that can be fatal. Additionally, chemicals from industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage contribute to the degradation of water quality, leading to dead zones where marine life cannot survive. Overfishing is another critical issue. About 90% of the world's fish stocks are either fully exploited or overexploited. This unsustainable practice threatens not only the fish populations themselves, but also the larger marine ecosystems that depend on them. The loss of key species can lead to the collapse of entire marine ecosystems with dire consequences for biodiversity and food security. Climate change is profoundly affecting the oceans. As global temperatures rise, so do ocean temperatures, leading to coral bleaching and the loss of vital habitats. Warmer oceans also contribute to the melting of polar ice caps, which causes sea levels to rise and affects coastal communities. Moreover, the ocean's absorption of excess carbon dioxide leads to acidification, which harms shell-forming species like corals, mollusks, and some plankton species, organisms that are crucial to the marine food web. Human activities, such as coastal development, deep sea mining, and bottom trawling, contribute to the destruction of critical marine habitats. Mangroves, seagrasses, and coral reefs are particularly vulnerable, yet they are essential for protecting coastlines, supporting biodiversity, and storing carbon. Given these challenges, ocean conservation is more important than ever. Protecting marine ecosystems is not just about saving whales and dolphins. It's about ensuring the stability of our climate, securing food resources, and maintaining the health of our global environment. One of the most effective ways to conserve marine biodiversity is by establishing Marine Protected Areas, MPAs. These areas restrict human activity to allow ecosystems to recover and thrive. Currently, only about 7% of the world's oceans are protected, far below the target of 30% by 2030 set by conservation organizations. Promoting sustainable fishing practices is essential to prevent the depletion of fish stocks. This can be achieved through better management of fisheries, enforcement of quotas, and the use of more selective fishing gear to reduce bycatch, unintended capture of non-target species. Reducing ocean pollution requires a multifaceted approach, including reducing plastic use, improving waste management systems, and strengthening regulations on industrial discharges and agricultural runoff. Each of us can contribute by minimizing our plastic footprint supporting cleanup initiatives, and advocating for stronger environmental policies. Mitigating the impacts of climate change on oceans involves reducing greenhouse gas emissions, transitioning to renewable energy sources, and protecting and restoring blue carbon ecosystems, such as mangroves and seagrasses, which sequester significant amounts of carbon. So, 
Ocean conservation is not an isolated environmental issue. It is intricately linked to the health of our entire planet. The oceans provide essential services that support life on Earth, and it is our responsibility to protect them. By taking action at both the individual and collective levels, we can help safeguard these vital ecosystems for future generations. The time to act is now, and together we can make a difference in the fight to preserve the health of our oceans. 1. What is the main purpose of the lecture? Two, according to the speaker, what role do oceans play in mitigating climate change? Three, what does the speaker imply about marine protected areas, MPAs? Four, what can be inferred about the impact of overfishing on marine ecosystems? Five, why does the speaker mention the garbage patches in the ocean? Six, which of the following best describes the speaker's view on reducing ocean pollution? <laughs> 